Our Verify team is here to clear up confusion and separate fact from fiction. With the Pfizer vaccine being distributed across the country, we want to make sure that you have the facts to make your decision about it. Evan Kozlov from the Verify team looks into a claim that the vaccine can cause Bell's palsy. The Verify team exists to fact check the things you see on social media and answer your questions. And we've seen this claim bubbling up quite a bit on social media. Some people are sharing this photo and claiming that four Pfizer vaccine volunteers developed Bell's palsy during the trial. So let's verify. What do we know about the connection between the Pfizer vaccine and Bell's palsy? Our sources are Pfizer, this committee brief from the FDA, the acting chair of that committee, and Dr. Kauser Talat, a vaccine expert from Johns Hopkins. Let's start with Pfizer, who sent us this statement, quote, the observed frequency of reported Bell's palsy in the vaccine group is consistent with the expected background rate in the general population. And there's no clear basis upon which to conclude a causal relationship at this time. So we did some math for ourselves here. In the Pfizer study, four out of 43,000 developed Bell's palsy. That's equal to a rate of 9.3 per 100,000. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Clinic estimates that around 40,000 people nationwide are diagnosed with the disease each year. When you compare that to a normal year in the United States, our experts confirm that the diagnosis rate can range from 12 to 25 per 100,000 people. Next, our Verify researchers turned to Dr. Arnold Monto, the acting chair of the FDA committee that met on Thursday. He told us that while there were more cases of Bell's palsy in the vaccine group than in the placebo group, that it was, quote, not out of line with the routine occurrence of Bell's palsy in the population. So we cannot say that the vaccine caused it. And that's pretty much what the FDA said in this briefing document, saying right now there's no clear basis to say that the vaccine caused these four participants to develop Bell's palsy. Dr. Talat agrees. In general, Bell's palsy is a response of your body to um, viral infections. So different viruses can trigger it. With the exception of one vaccine that was um, never sold in the United States and um, taken off the market very, very quickly, um, there's never been any vaccines that have been shown to cause Bell's palsy. And so I think that um, while Bell's palsy can happen in response to viruses, it's unlikely that it's going to happen in response to the COVID vaccine study. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov. And if you have something you would like us to verify, send an email with your idea to verify at 12news.com or you can post your question to our Facebook page or tweet us at 12news.